The new stars is an alpha 3.19 p2 passes dropped just um, a few minutes ago and we're going straight into it this time around it's for all backers um under feature updates location wise they've done an update on the Lorville no fly zone performance collision and vfx polish pass when it comes to the ai um fps ai combat balance with with b19 comes a quality of life overhaul of fps ai accuracy and behavior this is intended to make ai feel a bit more realistic lifelike and in some way more forgiving without pinpoint deadly accuracy at all times which is something that has caused many of us much frustration while clearing out baddies from underground facilities NPC should now have a better range of accuracy modifiers which will ramp up on many factors like how seeing and losing sight of target, how long the enemy sees its target after regaining sight on them, mercy time to assess how much of a threat the target is, and their loadouts. This also implements firing duration and cooldown for rapid fire and other checks with mercy timers that adjust accuracy when determining if a player is a threat or not. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time it's the game package for the 100i. In order to participate, all you got to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of May. Let's move on. Under gameplay, Ghost Hollow PvP mission balance. Increase maximum amount of time per terminal decrease time between ticks and increase base tick amount by 50 percent from 100 to 150 and increases more over time increase the amount after changing user to 75 percent from 50 percent reduce the maximum reset cooldown mining sub items can are now grabbable and storable in inventory and also they've updated the mining ui with better volatile cargo warnings under Core Tech, they made NPC performance optimizations. It says we will be monitoring and collecting data on this NPC fix. We are hopeful this will help with a few other issues as well, but are holding off expectations until we get it out on the PTU with you all for a while to monitor. Under Bug Fixes, Wallace Clem becomes stuck under the floor near the hangars after being streamed out and in. Players cannot sell mine genelites or fps mine resources at the training terminal and inventory where it is stored is not shown that's been fixed high dedicated video memory usage leads to severe frame rate drops at lorville has been fixed the timer for unlawful salvage missions does not show in the contract manager fixed players dropping an incapacitated player to their death will not be charged with a death it's been fixed progress bar flicker when multiple players salvage that's for the salvage contract so that's been fixed scrolling to increase or decrease the mining laser intensity has significant amount of lag making it difficult to operate so that's been fixed track the artificial reality is shown on the top left of the screen that's been fixed detaching and reattaching components can cause them to eject from the vehicle when subsequently stored and retrieved so that's been fixed ar preview for placing containers on cargo grids are not visible that's been fixed the starware does not change optimal charge window size of mineables that's been fixed if you attach the tractor beam outside the green zone you can bring the activated tractor beam back and use it in armistice zone that's been fixed Having a genelite harvestable in backpack and interacting with a Clesher prison crash the client. Genelite does not populate as option for compatible in-demand admin kiosk has been fixed. The two salvaging heads cannot be reattached with multi-tools. This is pertaining to the Aegis Reclaimer. In addition to this, they have two client crashes, one server crash and the server deadlock fix you guys already know what to do leave a like subscribe i'll see you on our next video